Hey Freedom, it's Pastor Eric and for those of you who were watching online yesterday, you are well aware that the power went out in Evans. Um, it wasn't because we didn't pay the power bill. Uh, the transformer got shut down for about an hour, which cut off the end of our message. And really what I wanted to do today is just take a moment and talk about the end of this passage in Mark chapter 7. Because Jesus concludes this whole talk about legalism and, and the dangers of legalism within the body of Christ by really talking about our hearts. We talked yesterday about the fact that Christianity, that following Jesus is really about the heart. It's not about our behavior or behavior modification. It's really about our heart because if God has our heart, then he has us. And at the end of Mark chapter or Mark 7 in the section that we were talking about in verse 21, Jesus says from within, out of the heart of man comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, covetingness, wickedness, and he lists this, this multitude of, of evil that can come from our, within our own hearts. And so ultimately what Jesus is saying and using this passage to do is to foreshadow the cross. He's helping us understand that he came to redeem me from me and you from you and us from us. Because what really matters, what is of utmost importance, is that Jesus has a hold of our hearts. Because our hearts have the capacity for every type of sin. See, within our hearts is the root of every human sin. Both those that have been committed and those we haven't even dreamed up yet. And Jesus in this moment is saying, listen, you're going to need the cross. You're going to need redemption. And it is through the cross that Jesus points us to and says, the only way that you can be found acceptable to God is by the gospel. By the cross. Because Jesus redeems us, not by keeping the law, not by behavior but by what he has done and ultimately the argument between legalism and, and the gospel is this that all forms of religion all forms of ways to pursue God can be boiled down to two different paths and they can be summed up with two different words do and done you see what legalism teaches and what most religions teach us is that in order for us to be acceptable to God, in order for us to be in right relationship with God, we have to do. And so what legalism and what religion says is, I have to do in order to earn God's acceptance. What must I do? <laughs> but here's the beauty of the gospel. Here's what the, here's what the gospel of the kingdom of God teaches us. And it says, listen, there's nothing that you can do to earn God's favor. Being accepted by God is entirely based on what Jesus has done for us on the cross. So ultimately, the question we have to ask ourselves is when God, when he looks at our heart, what does he see? When he examines our heart, what does he see? Does he see a legalist that is saying, look what I do? in order to earn God's acceptance? Or does it see a humble sinner saying, Jesus, thank you for what you have done in order to redeem me? And ultimately, that's what this entire passage is about, as Jesus is trying to show us the vast difference between the religion of the Pharisees and the gospel of the kingdom of God. And the difference between the two has, has eternal significance. So I just want to take a moment today just to update you for those of you who missed out. And for those of you who were there, maybe a recap. 
of what we talked about in Mark chapter 7, verses 1 through 23. Hope you have a blessed week, and we look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday as we continue this series on the Gospel of Mark.